What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show here for episode 62 of our MLB The Show 23, Baltimore Rose Franchise Mode on the channel. Grayson Rodriguez is our spotlight player coming into this game as he is approaching on a fairly big milestone. Rodriguez coming into this game with 99 career wins, taking on Patrick Sandoval. We have played Patrick Sandoval before in the past in the playoffs. He didn't do so hot. Uh, but Rodriguez on the season so far, eight starts, he's got seven decisions, six wins and a loss, a buck 81 ERA, 59 innings, 37 hits, a .85 whip, 14 walks, and 75 punch outs so far on the season. So Rodriguez looking to move to 7-1 and one to win his 100th game of his career. As the first batter, Brian O'Keefe, will squib that one to shallow center field, caught by Luis Angel Acuna for out number one. So Keefe is playing third, and he is leading off. Sims is at first, Bichette's at DH, Trout's in center, McCarthy's at right, Wells at catcher, Chang is at short, Adele is in left, and Fletcher is at second base. Now we have Sims up, and Charlie Sims, the first baseman, goes down swinging. Up comes now the DH, Bo Bichette, who swings and misses at that one. That's going to be a 1-2-3 first inning here for the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. On the mound now for Los Angeles will be Patrick Sandoval. In eight starts, he is 2 and 4 with a 5.1 ERA. In 42 innings pitched, 49 hits a lot, a 151 whip, 15 walks, 33 punch outs. First up, Jackson Holiday, who swings and misses at the inside slider right there for out number one. First strike out of the game here for Patrick Sandoval. Adley Rush from the DH, he's batting in that two hole. I said DH, uh, Adley Rush in the catcher. In the two hole right there. He flies that one out to Mike Trout in center field for out number two. I take a look here. Holiday is at short. Rushman is catching. Gunners at third. Torkelson's at first. Kerstead's DHing. Acuna's at second. Dominguez is in right. And Drew Jones is in left. In the ledge green and center field. So everyone is kind of where they normally are. As we're going to have Gunner Henderson strike out to end the, end the first inning. So one, two, three, go the Orioles. As we're on at the top of the second. 2-2 count here for Travis. He grounds that one down to the third baseline. Gunner has it over to first in time. That's going to be out number one. So one up, one down here so far in this second inning. As Rodriguez has retired four straight uh, Angels. Now up comes Jake McCarthy. And McCarthy, he goes down looking there. Goodbye, right fielder. It was uh, nice seeing you here in this at-bat. Austin Wells, the catcher. He will send that one to left field. Drew Jones giving chase. And Drew Jones... Makes the nonchalant catch, and that's going to end the second. One, two, three, go to the Angels. As we're running out of the bottom half of the inning, as Torkelson leads things off, he's batting over 300 so far on the season. As he sends that one to deep right center field, that one's back at the wall, and that one's gone. That right there is the first hit of the game here for either team. As Torkelson hits a solo shot to right center field, his 17th of the season. 413 feet and 100 miles is that exit velo. So a very well hit ball right there from the Orioles' first baseman. Now up comes Heston Kerstead, the DH, batting 250 on the year as he swings through that circle change for out number one here in the second. Third punch out now of the campaign. Uh, Luis Angel Acuna, 3-1 count, and Acuna draws the one-out walk. So runner on first base now here with one away. As we're going to have the 7-0 hitter, Jason Dominguez, do up. Dominguez puts that one on the ground. Right to the shortstop, over to Fletcher, over to Sims in time. That's going to end the inning. On to the top of the third now as Yu Chang swings and misses. Goodbye, Yu Chang, you tried. Joe Adele, the left fielder, will swing through that one right there. So that's going to be two outs now here in the inning. Five punch outs on the game. As you have David Fletcher, second baseman, go down looking at 98 down on the outside. That's going to be six strikeouts here. Drew Jones. Leads off the bottom of the third with a full count. That's going to be a leadoff walk here for the Orioles' left fielder. So Drew Jones now on first base for Elijah Green, who has the 1-2 count. Green chases the off-speed pitch low, and that's going to be out number one here in the third. Jackson Holiday sends that one down the left field line in his second half out of the game. That's going to be caught by Adele for the second out here in the third inning. Runner on first base now here for Adley Rutschman. Rutschman sends that one to right field. McCarthy comes in and makes the catch, and that's going to end the third inning. So runner is stranded at first base as O'Keefe, Sims, and Bichette are all due up here in the inning. Brian O'Keefe swings and misses at that fastball right there. 
That is going to be the seventh strikeout of the campaign here for Grayson. Charlie Sims, 2-2 counts, swings and misses at well. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Grayson Rodriguez as he has eight now on the day. Bo Bichette, one two count, and Bichette goes down looking. Grayson Rodriguez strikes out the side in order here in the fourth inning. As run out of the bottom half of the inning. Gunnar Henderson, three one count, and Gunnar sends that one down the right center field. That one will be getting down. That's going to one hop the wall. And Gunnar can run. Gunnar's gonna round second. He's on his way to third. Cutoff man for the third will be in time, and Gunnar gunned out at third base right there. Hate to see that. Now Spence Torgerson's up for the full count. Torgerson swings through the off-speed pitch down the middle. And that's going to be the second out here in the inning. Now Kirsted, following the strikeout, will put that one on the ground. So slider outside the zone. Chopper to Okifi over to Sims in time. That's going to end the fourth. Mike Trout's up here in Trout. Grounds this one to Jackson Holiday. Jackson Holiday, hurry throw to first base in time for out number one. So there is one out now here in uh, this fifth inning as Jake McCarthy's up. He's 0 for 1. Make it 0 for 2 on the day as he swings and misses at that fastball right there. And that being the 10th of the day for Rodriguez. Austin Wells do up now and Wells strikes out ending the fifth inning here on back-to-back -back punch. That's Rodriguez just doing what he's doing best. We have Luis Angel Acuna. Acuna sends that one to left field. That's caught by the shortstop UJ. That's going to be the first out here in the bottom of the fifth. So now following that, Jason Dominguez, who was 0 for 1 on the day, will send that one to right field. That's just a little inside jam shot on the inside slider. So that's going to be a one-out single for Dominguez. Throw gets away from the shortstop right there. Not sure what happened on that nice little easy throw, but Dominguez, he stays put. Drew Jones up, and Drew Jones he watches the ball go by, and Dominguez is thrown out uh, by the catcher right there, trying to, trying to still set a base. Now it's a full count following uh, the called ball three. That's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be ball four right there. So ball four taken low, and we're gonna have Elijah Green up, who is 0 for one. He takes the inside slide, gets jammed on it. That one's going to be caught by Jake McCarthy, who has to come all the way in to make that catch. Yu Chang leads things off, and Chang he sends that to left field. Drew Jones comes in, and Drew Jones pulls up and makes the catch for out number one. So nice, easy out there to start the sixth inning off here for uh, the Orioles' defense. So now following that, Joe Adele, who was 0 for 1, sends that to center field. That's going to be a little knock right there, and Elijah Green gets to it quickly. Throws in the second base, and that's going to be a one-out single. Now David Fletch, the second base, and up in Fletcher. Grounds that one past the diving gutter, Henderson. Now there's two on, one out, around right the top of the order back up. Uh, but Fletcher, who's struggling, does get the base hit right there. So I go Fletcher. Sigh of relief. Ryan O'Keefe up, and O'Keefe drives that one deep to left field. Drew Jones just going to stop and stare. And that is a three-run home run allowed by Grayson Rodriguez. Tenth home run of the season for O'Keefe. 404 feet to left field and 101 miles an hour off the bat. So that ball not only went far, it got out of here in a hurry. So big home run right there by the Angels' third baseman as the Angels take a 3-1 to one lead. Next batter up, Charlie Sims, the first baseman. He strikes out swinging there for the 12th of the game now. Now Bo Bichette, 0 for 2. Make it 0 for 3 as that's a baker's dozen for strikeouts here. Humberto Castellanos, 14 games, 7 wins and a blown save. 38 innings pitched, a 186 ERA, 24 walk, uh, strikeouts to 13 walks. So Humberto, he's tasked with keeping this two-run lead in the bottom of the sixth inning. Jackson Holiday leads things off with an extra base hit to right center field. That is going to be a leadoff double there for the Orioles shortstop. So double there for Holiday, 10th of the season, and we're going to have Adley Rutschman do up. Rutschman puts that one on the ground. That's going to bleed into center field. Trout's throw will not be in time. That's going to be an RBI single for Rutschman. So lead is cut in half here thanks to the RBI from Adley Rutschman. Now we have Gunnar Henderson who is one for two. Puts that one on the ground. O'Keefe didn't even try to make a play on that one. He just went to go cover third. So two one. No one out. That is three straight hits. Torkelson up now. Torkelson sends that one to left uh, field. 
Diving play by Chang. Throw to second was in time. Throw to first, not in time though. Torkelson beats it out. Now comes Matt Strom. So Strom in eight games has one loss. Eight innings pitched, six holds. A 113 ERA. Righties are batting a 187. Lefties batting .083 against Matt here. So the former Phillies relief pitcher, rocket number 28 here for the Los Angeles Angels and Hunt, take on Heston Kirsten, and Kirsten delivers, hanging slider deep to right, and that one is out of here, and the Orioles jump out to a 5-3 to three lead. Fifth home run of the season for Heston Kirsten, 450 feet, 106 miles an hour off the bat, if you thought that O'Keefe home run was a big one, Heston Kerr said, said, hold my bat. Big home run right there. Now up comes Acuna. And Acuna puts that one on the ground. Fielded by Strom, who goes to first in time. There's now finally two outs in the inning. Jason Dominguez, he's up. And Dominguez, he will ground that one out to David Fletcher, who goes to Sims in time. And that will end the sixth. On to the top of the seventh now as Mike Trout grounds that one up the middle. But Acuna playing the shift. Gets that over to first base in time for out number one. So one down now here in this seventh inning. As we're going to have Jake McCarthy do up. McCarthy who's 0 for 2. Flares that one to left. And Drew Jones will make the catch there. That's two outs here in the seventh inning. So two outs now in the seventh inning here. We're going to have up Austin Wells who was 1 for 2. That's a ground ball fielded by Acuna. And it's a nice little easy throw to first base for the final out. 1, 2, 3, seventh inning here for the Angels. As out comes Chase Silseth. Silseth in eight games is 2-2 two and two in saves. 14 innings pitched, a .64 ERA. 14 strikeouts to two walks. Right is batting a buck 20. Left is batting a buck 82 against Silseth. Drew Jones batting 2 for 2 on the season right now. Has a couple walks in this game. Picks up his first base knock to right field. So there you go, two walks and a single for Drew Jones. That's what you like to see out of the left fielder. So a good old leadoff single there by the left fielder, Drew Jones. We're going to have up Elijah Green now, who is 0 for 2. Make it 0 for 3, watch his strike 3 go by. Doesn't even get the bat off the shoulder. You hate to see that for the young center fielder. Jackson Holiday, who had a doubles last at bat, strikes out as well. So there is now two outs here in uh, the seventh inning. As we're going to have Adley Rutschman now do up, who is one for three. They get one for three now with a walk. So two men on, two out here. And we're going to have our three-hole hitter do up. Gunnar Henderson, who is two for three, puts that one on the ground. That one will bleed into center field. Runner from second, he's going to go home. He's going to score with ease, and that's going to be a rundown. Yeah, come on, Adley. You're, I don't know. I don't know how the rundowns don't work right in this game, but if you get a rundown... You're instantly out. There's no getting out of it. Orion Kirkering, he's in now. 16 games, eight, um, eight holds. He did. He's done some things. Kirkering doing well so far on the season as he strikes out Yu Chang, who is now 0 for 3 on the day, following that punch out. Joe Adell, who's 1 for 2, make it 1 for 3. He strikes out 97 at down and in. And now up comes David Fletcher, who is also 1 for 2. He grounds that one to Holiday. Holiday fields it, double pumps, goes to first, dug out by Torkelson, and that will end the eighth inning here. Orioles go one, two, three, as we run now to the bottom half of the inning. We're looking for a little bit of insurance run. Now Taylor Rogers, five games, four and a third innings pitched, a 2.08 ERA, three strikeouts, two walks, righties batting 375, lefties a cool 125 against the Roger twin. Now here we go, Torkelson leads things off, ground ball right to Fletcher. Uh, Fletcher to Sims in time for out number one. So one out now here in this eighth inning. As we're going to have now the five hole hitter. Heston Kerstad who did homer his last at bat. Now he is one for three with the home run and a walk. As he is now on first base. Acuna who's 0 for 2. Chops that one to Sims. Who goes to Chang. Who goes to the pitcher. And that will be a double play right there to end the inning. On now to the top of the ninth. Out comes Craig Kimbrell. Kimbrell, in 13 games, is 0-1, 8 for 9 in saves, 11 innings, a 7.36 ERA, 14 strikeouts, 4 walks, where right he's batting 421, left he's batting 231 against the veteran closer. O'Keefe up, and O'Keefe sends that one to right field. In comes Jason Dominguez, and Dominguez will make the catch for out number 1. So one out now here in this top of the ninth inning, as we're going to have Charlie Sims up, who's 0 for 3. Sims flares that to right, and that's going to be a base knock right there. 
So runner on first base with one out here in this top of the ninth inning. Crimble now. Struggles with runners on base. The pitch clock does not fare well against his windup. Bo Bichette, who is 0 for 3, grounds that one to Holiday. Holiday to Acuna. Acuna to Torkelson in time. And that is an inning ending double play. So there you go. It's a 5 4 3 double play. No, 6 4 3 double play. 6 4 3 double play. Because third base is 5 for whatever reason. Uh, but there you go. Big victory here for the Orioles. They win this one 6 to 3. Uh, Grayson Rodriguez picks up his seventh win of the season. Castellanos gets his first loss. Kimbrell picks up his ninth save. Rodriguez does get play of the game there with a Baker's dozen strikeouts. Three earned runs on three hits. No walks for the young righty. Uh, Rodriguez also gets the win player of the game. Castellanos, like I said, gets the loss. Uh, but Grayson Rodriguez at 28 years old joins the 100 win club. 60 more wins than losses so far in his young career. And let's hope that we can get 200 before this series is over. But Texas Mutual 